Hey everyone, welcome to the final episode of Let's Platinum and 100% Batman Arkham Knight, episode 116. Alright, so the final trophy in this game. Now, for those of you who don't know, what you have to do is, uh, for those of you who don't know, including me, because I did not know about this, uh, in the Iceberg Lounge, it is a map uh, in which the enemies continually spawn over and over and over again. There are no rounds, it's just one round, and they just keep spawning. Now, the objective of this map, oh, well, the trophy description says, defeat an old adversary in the Iceberg Lounge. And uh, what you have to do is essentially, you have to, well, that old adversary, spoilers, is um, Killer Croc, who you saw just at the beginning there in the intro. Um, in order to defeat him, you have to gain, uh, you have to reach 1,050,000 points. Uh, the reason you have to reach that much is because that's the amount for the 20 rival points that you can get. Um, and once you've reached that um, point, you the enemies will stop spawning and as you take them out, they'll basically uh, disappear. And once they've done that, then Killer Croc will spawn you have to fight him. So we're going to see that in about nine or uh, eight or nine minutes time. Uh, but for now, I want to explain what I'm doing here uh, because there is actually a method to my madness. Um, essentially what you want to do is, uh, you want to first like get up your, get your multiplier to about a hundred, try and get your multiplier to around a hundred. The best way to do that is, um, make sure that you have, um, like at least five multiplier and then just keep punching people like left, right and center. Just punch as many as you can. Don't worry about using takedowns. Don't worry about anything else. Just keep using punches. The main reason you want to do that is because um, those punches give you uh, times three multipliers. Like that, wow, that was, was that six multiplier in one go? I think it was, yeah, because it was like two for three counters. So two times three, six. So yeah, it went from 137 to 143. Anyway, um, once you're on a critical strike, or once you're on a, like when your multiplier fills up and you get that, um, that look, hang on, I'll show you there. When you punch the next enemy, you'll get um, times three instead of times two. So if I was on 159 there, I would have gone to 162. Um, and that's a good way to increase your multiplier um, by quite a bit, just by constantly doing that. Um, once you reach 100, you'll start noticing like that the medics are spawning and that they're also sending or like making each of the enemies have electricity around them. Um, so you want to use backclaw slam to remove that electricity. Uh, there are two reasons for this. Number one, um, you're going to remove their electricity, which is very, very helpful. And number two, um, you take them down and that gives you 25 points times your multiplier already. So if you've got 100 multiplier, you're going to get 2,500 points just for doing a, back, a really, really simple back claw slam. Uh, if you've got 200, you're going to get 5,000, 300, 7,500, and so on and so on. Um, so that's definitely a great way to get points. Um, Second thing is, if there are no enemies to take down with Backclaw Slam, use your um, takedown to find an enemy with like a car door, a pipe, a knife, um, any sort of weapon, like a gun, and use um, the Smash and Destroy to, take down, uh, to remove that weapon from the playing field. Again, another two reasons for that. Number one, you remove the weapon or a stun baton as well. You can also do it on that. Um, number one, you remove the weapon from the, the battle completely. Um, so that makes life a little bit simpler and it will it won't risk like you won't risk yourself um, Losing because of something silly like that uh, And losing your multiplier because you can't don't lose your multiplier like unless you're at, Unless you get to like a million and you lose your multiplier It's really hard to kind of like get your multiplier back um, Once you've lost it. So yeah, it's very frustrating uh, the second reason for using Smash and Destroy is you'll also get another 25 points uh, based on your multiplier as well. So there's Backclaw Slam. Let's see if I do one with the Smash and Destroy here. Yep. So you get 275 times 25, or 276 times 25 points, and an enemy doesn't get taken down. So that's the second reason. Um, another thing, do not take down any of the medics. Try to avoid taking down the medics as much as possible. The main reason for this is because uh, if the medics constantly revive the uh, enemies that you've already taken down, then the more difficult enemies will take longer to spawn. So for example, you can just see that there's one, maybe two ninjas uh, on the playing field at the moment. Um, 
and that's because I haven't taken down any of the medics or I've tried to avoid taking down the medics as much as possible. Um, and trust me, you definitely want to do that because after the ninjas come the enforcers and that's when stuff stuff gets real hard. <laughs> um, other than that, if you keep repeating this over and over again, you can see like I'm at 500,000 uh, now. So I'm at a point where I'm starting to get a ton of points for every action that I'm doing. Like back law slams are giving me like 7,500 plus. Uh, normal normal punches are giving me um, 6,000. Yeah, about 6,000 points. Um, and uh, you know, all those other things, everything's just going up so fast. Um, the only problem is that you need to maintain this, like you need to keep maintaining it and it's very, very, very difficult to do um, perfectly. I got, I, it took me uh, 11, maybe 10 or 11 attempts to do this properly, to actually get it to work. The one I got, um, I think I did, after my sixth attempt, I, I got up to like 700,000, uh, maybe a little bit more than 700,000 and I, what the hell did I do there? Did I go for a ground takedown? Holy crap, that would have been dangerous as hell. Um, yeah, don't go for ground takedowns. Don't go for blade dodge takedowns unless you're ultra confident with those. That's another thing. If you go for blade dodge takedowns, obviously you're gonna get a huge amount of points. Like, for example, uh, if I was to do it now, I would get 3,500, no, sorry, 35,000 points from one blade, blade dodge takedown. Uh, so that's very worthwhile. One trick you can use is, um, you'll notice here that I'm trying to get close to those wall uh, electricity things. If you use that, you can get a nice simple 100 times multiplier, or 100 times takedown multiplier on your, for, to your score. So for example, if I'm at 400, I would get 40,000 just from that. Now that's a good, that's a giant boon to your, to your score. Um, also, something that I didn't really use, or didn't, I mean, I thought about it, but I don't know if it's actually worth doing. As you can see, I've just, just done like four or five backclaw slams. At this point, backclaw slams are so worthwhile to do because they're so easy to pull off and they give so many points. It might just be worthwhile just constantly doing backclaw slams. I don't think that um, they can like take you out if you're constantly doing it, but obviously you want to keep an eye out for guns and stuff. So. That might be the reason. But as you can see here, I'm at 930,000, so I'm real close. Now I'm getting 10,000 points per backclaw slam. Um, yeah, we're at 400. If you can get to about 400, you're pretty solid. You just need a few more hits. I don't know why I went for that. All right, there we go, I smashed him into the wall. That was 40, uh, 46, 40,600 that was. And it was at this point that I was looking at my score and I was like, okay, one more backclaw slam and done. Okay, so now I'm at 1,050,000 um, and I was a bit confused here because I had no idea what to do. Uh, I pressed square and X um, trying to go for the special dodge, uh, special takedown, but instead I picked up a pipe. Um, it's still pretty useful to pick up pipes. Pipes can be pretty useful. You can break through any defense with a pipe. It'll like, it'll get destroyed after a few um, hits, but it's still pretty useful. There we go, I went for another one. Um, yeah, and at this point I was like, okay, what's going on? Like, what do I do? Because Killer Croc hadn't shown up. And then I started realizing that um, the enemies weren't respawning. So, um, so I was like, okay, maybe I just have to keep um, attacking and to get rid of them. So I started getting rid of medics. Uh, that was so lucky. Holy crap. I went for a, I think I was going to go for a beat down there and I clipped the ninja, which gave me the opportunity to... Um, use the takedown on the on the medic. I don't know how I lost my multiplier there. I don't think I did it did it on purpose. I think the game kind of was just, just like no no yeah you can stop now. <laughs> Here I I just did a normal takedown dodge, or oh, normal blade dodge, I should say. And then I started fighting a bit more. This is the point where I was like okay definitely I have to take out all the enemies now because they're like disappearing. And done. That is all the enemies. So that's what happens if you get to a million fifty thousand. Now it took a little while for the game to load. Killer Croc jumps into the mix, and uh, this is where things get a little tricky. Actually, um, I was kind of scared of dying because I I did that stupidly, um, as you can see. 
And I started going for Killer Croc, and then I realized, hang on, he's not taking damage. And I was like, that's right, I have to do the the dual team take takedown to get some damage on him. Um, I don't know if my game glitched here or if this was exactly how it was supposed to go, but you can see here I press L1 to activate the dual team takedown. It didn't work, so I pressed it again. They do some damage to Killer Croc, but there's no, like, I'm not able to um, start defeating him like I did a few episodes ago in the um, in the Killer Croc DLC where remember you had to like punch 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 counter punch 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 counter like for some reason I'm not able to do that so I'm getting a bit confused and I'm like okay well you know the game isn't broken yet it's not frozen so I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing so I do another dual team takedown pretty much the same thing happens just with the reverse so like Nightwing knees him in the face while uh, well, Batman need him in the face first, and this time Nightwing did. So I'm like, okay, that's different. Let's just keep trying. <laughs> so I'm jumping around with Nightwing here. This is actually one of the best um, bits of the game, where you get to play as both Nightwing and Batman. The same thing. That that is so cool. Then I did it again. Like I did it for a third time, and the same thing happened. I'm like, hmm. So I'm starting to get worried. But then I was like, okay, doesn't matter. Just keep going. Maybe something will change. You know. Like Albert Einstein said insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results but I was like in this case I think that's what I have to keep doing because <laughs> it's the only choice I have so I keep trying keep trying and then finally I don't know if it's on this one this one looked a little bit different so I was like okay that's good so that's different but I still couldn't attack him and I was like okay what the hell is going on so I was like all right let's see actually now that I think about it that was the fourth time I'd used one so this next one would be the fifth Let's see if that turns out to be the case. So I use one. There. Okay, yeah. So after you do five, then it got to this point. I was like, thank God. And you also realize that um, Killer Croc has the, the triangle counter thing on his head. The reason for that is because um, this isn't uh, nightmare difficulty. Um, so the counter icons appear. Um, and it makes it easier to take him down. Um, so I, I did perfectly there and I thought I would have taken him down, but I think I had to take, uh, have to do it again from memory. Um, yeah, essentially I think what, what happens now is I just repeat what I just did one more time in order to take out Killer Croc once and for all and we get our trophy. Um, so let's see. Smash, 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 smash and just keep repeating it. That made it a lot easier to take him out, having the counter icons there. I could tell sort of when I did it on, on the DLC where I had to fight him uh, on Nightmare difficulty, but uh, it was hard to tell. I think it was that one. That one was hard to tell when he was going to attack. All right, and he goes down like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> All right, guys, and I beat Sir Cam's score by quite a bit as well. <laughs> I could have done like almost two million. There we go, Requiem for a killer. I could have done almost 2 million, but because I lost that stupid multiplier, I think it would have been like 500 or something uh, by now. Um, so I basically let myself die at the end here, which is kind of a crappy way to go out uh, on the final episode, but it's the only way I could get out of the thing and let the um, and let the game end. So uh, I want to take, th take this opportunity to thank you all for watching uh, Let's Platinum and 100% Batman Arkham Knight. It was a long arduous journey to 100%, 116 episodes I think it is. So if you've watched all the way to the very end, thank you very much. I didn't expect anyone to, but if you did, that's a massive um, compliment. I hope you enjoyed the whole thing. I hope that you guys succeed in getting the trophies on your own because these are really hard. These last ones are really hard in Brutality 101. Um, but good luck, have fun. My name is Ultima456. And I will see you guys next time.